What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today we are checking out the brand new Shortcuts application in iOS 12, which is more or less just Workflow, which is a very powerful automation application that Apple purchased a few months back. We didn't really know what they were doing with it, but it's clear that Shortcuts in iOS 12 is pretty much identical to Workflow with, of course, some different features and changes. The most powerful one being the ability to remap anything to a Siri phrase. So as you saw at the beginning, I said, What's the latest Apple news? And hopefully it picks it up, running your shortcut. Uh, I have it set to go to the front page of r slash Apple. And as you can see there, it shows me the top stories. So this is what my home screen looks like right now. I've got a voice memo action, airdrop screenshot, you've got meme maker, share iPhone 10 screenshots. A lot of these are pre-made, but you can do your own custom ones. And we'll jump into a custom one in just a second. For now, let's head over to the gallery. Apple has already created a lot of these for your ease of use. So you can go over here, shortcuts for sharing, wonderful widget shortcuts. You can run shortcuts in other apps. They have it organized by essentials, your morning routine, specific to the iPhone 10, but it looks like you could do the iPhone 8 Plus as well when it talks about portrait. I found one right here that I think will be very useful. There's one for a quick shortcut to a laundry timer. So I'll tap on that. It tells you a little bit about it. I'm going to tap on get shortcut. It's been added to my library. So it'll be placed at the very bottom down here. I'm going to tap on that and it says how many minutes for the laundry. So I've got about a 25 to 30 minute cycle. So I'll set it right at 27 minutes. Tap OK, and then Shortcuts wants to access your reminders if it's never accessed that before. Once you've done that, you can head over to the Reminders app because the way this works is it sends you a reminder whenever your laundry is gonna be done. That's the way the default action is set up. And you can see laundry finished 2.58 p.m. That was exactly 27 minutes after I set the reminder or set the entire process up initially. It's relatively automated though. I don't have to set up the reminder or the like alarm or timer individually. It sort of combines the clock app and reminders into the same thing and then automatically sends you a reminder whenever your laundry is done. So that's pretty cool. So there's a lot of shortcuts already and I found most of them to be relatively useful. Some are more of a joke, like you have meme maker or share an emoji. Some can actually help you get work done, like make a PDF from anything or browse your favorite subreddits like I demoed at the very beginning. I think that stuff's really cool, but now I wanna make one that I, ha I know for sure Apple doesn't have listed. I wanna be able to say, hey Siri, open iUpdateOS.com and my own website will pull up just because I wanna check something there. So I'm gonna tap on the plus right here. It says, add any actions from the bottom to build your shortcut. So I'm gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom for the web. I'm gonna have a URL pass through here. So I'm gonna tap on URL, it says example.com. I'm gonna type in my website right here, hit done. Now if you just hit play, it will open it up in this little tiny box right here because it's not exactly done yet. We're not exactly ready, we have more to do. So now I need to swipe up and search Safari because of course I wanna open this in Safari. So below that, there's another one when I type in Safari that says open URLs or open web page. I'm gonna tap on show web page right here. So now it's showing up that I have the URL linked at the very top and the show web page down below. I'm gonna tap on play now and look at that, my website loads pretty quickly uh, through this Siri shortcut. That is my home page right there. But like I said, I wanna ask Siri to do this. And I think this is where the killer functionality of shortcuts lies. You can do so much with automation. Everybody can tap the play button to have their own automations run. But being able to ask Siri to do it for you without you having to interact with your device is incredibly powerful. So at the very top right here, I'm gonna tap on these options and you see add to Siri right under the name and icon section. So I hit add to Siri and you're gonna see this run untitled shortcut just because I haven't given it a name. You tap on record and I'm going to say, open iUpdateOS.com. This is the coolest part. I hit done, I hit done one more time, exit out, I'm on the home screen, haven't even touched my device. Hey Siri, open iUpdateOS.com. And there's my website, loading hands-free, only using Hey Siri, shortcuts in iOS 12. This is just one of probably millions or hundreds of millions of examples. There are so many possibilities, like the realm of what you can do with this is incredible. While the pre-made shortcuts are fantastic, I think most people will have no issues using those. Trying to create one from scratch is quite confusing. Just tapping the plus, you're greeted with a ton of options. And then tapping on search, you get greeted with even more. And there's sub menus for all of these, which for a power user is a blessing. I know power users 
are gonna love this application. I think that's who Apple at their core designed it for, but for everybody else, shortcuts is pretty confusing. There's a lot of menus, there's a lot of text here, not a lot of pictures. It's as user-friendly as I think an automation app can get right now, but for the general populace, I don't see my mom or dad or grandma or anyone else super young using this just because there's a lot of menus and there's a lot of options. I think the people who have issues with Siri that wanna get the most out of their phone that they possibly can, power users are gonna love it, but everybody else is just gonna see it and move on within a couple of hours of touching it. So that's the brand new Shortcuts app in iOS 12. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down below. Do you plan on using it? How do you like Siri and do you think that this fixes the platform? Do you think this is gonna make Siri really great or were you expecting something else from Apple? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed watching, if you learned something new, drop a like below and of course, hit subscribe for more on iOS 12 in the future. If you wanna go that extra mile to help support the channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash update and that would be absolutely amazing. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you in my next video.